Okay, so uh, this is the um, lesson three of the stencil. I've just done a little bit of repair around here where I accidentally deleted the curve off uh, this external radius here. Um, so the next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to have to push-pull out these components. Again, they should be three millimeters deep, so I can press three and enter on each of these, and this should get So it's type 3 on the keyboard and then press enter and that produces the holes for the stencils. Um, and uh, I'm not going to bother uh, continuing the ruler. Uh, I'm ju we're just going to now have a little look at adding some colour just to finish it off. So we just select the colour tools and we're just going to go for one of the yellows here. and. We can just use the paint pot tool and just drop in the colours on the materials. Okay. Um, last little thing we need to do is do some labelling. So for this, I'm just going to use the 3D text tool. In this case, um, if you're laser cutting this out, obviously it wouldn't be standing proud. It you would actually be etching this in. But it just give you an idea. Don't forget, um, you need to get the scale right. So the height of my letters are. Two millimeters, and I'm just going to extrude them up 0.1 of a mil. Okay, um, so not very high at all. So the first one is we're just going to write 45. I'm just going to write degrees. If you know how to use your keyboard, and you can actually get that up, you can use that. We're just going to label that with that. Um, similarly, here. I can write 60 degrees and that just places that in that point there and then I'll just label one of the more of these just to give you the idea so it was 2.5 millimeters radius so that would be 5 millimeters DIA which is diameter and we're just going to place that one neatly under there Okay, so that gives you the idea of how we would again label these. Uh, similarly, just last little one, we'll put on there 10 degree, and that's just the divisions for each of these on the protractor. Obviously, if you were to cut this out in a three millimeter acrylic, um, then it work out quite nicely uh, and if you did it in a translucent uh, colour either clear acrylic or one of the fluorescent acrylics you get quite a nice effect so that's the end of the lesson in designing and drawing up an engineering stencil that would be really useful probably use this in the workshop for a set number of tasks quite a handy tool